is Steve, and today I want to talk briefly about the Woodland Scenics layout kits um, for a couple of reasons. One, I had a question about what I thought of those. Uh, two, that's actually how I got back into the hobby back in 2003 um, after a long layoff uh, from, you know, back since I was a kid. And I started out with the HO Scale Grand Valley layout kit, and that was sort of the first layout that I built, um, again, about 15 years ago. And, uh, and things have kind of you know progressed since then. And so in general, you can see a few pictures here. I don't have any videos of that layout that I built back in 2003, but you can see here some pictures of what my finished layout looked like. And overall, I think those kits are, are pretty nice if you're, you know, if you haven't really built something before and you're looking to jump in, you want some directions on how to do things, and uh, you're looking to kind of collect a lot of materials easily. Uh, one thing that can be hard for a lot of people to do is to actually buy all the materials that they need to you know, build a layout project. If they haven't done that before, they don't have a good hobby store locally, they have to order everything online, um, and they can't really see what things look like in terms of size and you know, texture and, and all that kind of stuff. And so uh, these kids, I think, are a good way to sort of get into the hobby if you sort of have the ability to put down a large chunk of money and, uh, you, you know, and, and you sort of want to to have uh, everything sort of prepared for you and you don't really want to look at, you know, when you start out at buying your own individual items, you know, piece by piece. And so what I did is I bought the HO Scale Grand Valley Layout Kit from Woodland Scenics. I bought their uh, City and Industry Building Kit, whatever it was. Um, I bought the Atlas Track Kit that is available for that layout. Um, and then I went through and I basically uh, built a small table to sort of support the layout. Now the layout comes, it's an, it's an all foam structure layout and it's quite sturdy, but you can't just plop that on say like a folding table uh, and have it overhang and that kind of things. It's really, um, it's not really strong enough to do that because if you, you know, put any pressure on one corner of it, you're going to snap off part of it and you know, it's just foam. So you need to have something um, that can support it, uh, you know, around the edges and, and, and make sure it's not going to, uh, to break on you. And so what I did, you don't actually need like, you know, a four by eight foot sheet of plywood or anything like that. What I did was actually built a frame, um, a box frame out of one by threes for the four by eight foot Grand Valley kit. And so what I did was I added some corner blocks to the frame after I built it. And that allowed me to screw in legs to the bottom of it. And uh, I think actually I used six for the layout. So I had two on each end and plus two in the middle. So to kind of help support the middle a little bit. So the supplies for wood for the one by three frame, for the, uh, I think I just used scrap wood I had in the garage for, you know, for putting uh, blocks in all the corners and in the middle to help to have something to screw onto for the legs. Um, you yeah, know, that wasn't very expensive, but but overall still, if you're looking at buying the, the kit and the track pack and the building pack, it's probably gonna cost about a thousand dollars or more, plus you actually need to have, you know, a, you know buy rolling stock and you know locomotives and that kind of thing too so you're probably looking at still over a thousand dollars pretty easily for total investment uh, for everything but you do get um for all the scenery materials all the plaster and you can get the track you know everything is basically there for you and so it does make it really easy to to put together a layout of that size now i think all the grant all the uh, woodland scenics kits are, are pretty good um they have uh there's an n-scale one there's a couple ho scale ones if you've kind of gotten past that beginner stage, these kits don't really make sense for, for most people. But if you are a beginner and you don't have any supplies, you have nothing at all, um, these can be a good kit to sort of jump into the hobby with both feet if you really know that you want to build you know, a layout of this size. So um, if that's you, then I think these can be a good investment. Again, if you have the money to do so, um, for a lot of people it's probably better to just you know kind of go into it month by month and kind of you know buy the things that you need for that month and, and spread out the cost over a long period of time. But, uh, but otherwise, again, um, these are a good option. If you haven't seen these, just sort of get all the supplies you need all at one time and go ahead and build a very nice looking layout, um, you know, uh, with good directions. Everything is explained and that can be a very helpful factor for people that are new to the hobby to sort of have everything laid out step by step how you build a layout. And that gives you a lot of experience when you build your next layout, you sort of know you know, how to do things. And then um, and now you also have a lot of supplies. You can reuse obviously the buildings and trees and you know, all these things that uh, you've used on this first layout. So uh, they can be a good project um, in that sense.
So anyway, those, those are my thoughts on the Woodland Scenics layout kits, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.